listeners uh, we want to take this opportunity uh, to welcome you on our video today we are doing a CRE revision uh, this is from two work uh, and uh, we request you to watch this video up to the end if you have not yet subscribed to our channel we request you to take this opportunity and subscribe to this channel uh, to our subscribers we really want to thank you guys for the support you have given this channel question number one mention seven attributes of god in the african traditional community number one is the creator source of life number two provider number three much food number number four holy and pure number five or powerful omnipotent and almighty next omniscient and that is all-knowing next omnipre omnipresent or he is present everywhere and then the last one imminent that is to say has no limit or very far yet very near eh? these are the attributes of god according to african traditional community here are others uh trans eh? uh, they are saying beyond human understanding transcendent beyond human understanding next self-existent next he is a spirit next everlasting or internal next god is good and that is to say not other of evil a question next you are told how did the traditional african community use the environment to demonstrate their belief in god used their land uh, praying while facing heaven uh, we are going to uh, look at this question how did the uh, did the traditional african community use the environment to demonstrate their belief in god number one using the land as it resources resp uh, uh, responsively number two setting aside the sacred pl sacred places for worship that is forest number next setting aside totem recorded as a sacred animals bands and re reptiles next praying while facing the sun moon or mountains which are believed to be the symbol of god's presence next using oil during oathing cursing ceremonies and while blessing or making a covenant next protecting the land because it was given to them by god next sharing the resources from god next offering to god the resources from the from the land next making libation and pouring to the ground of blood during initiation and during making covenant next identify eight moral values that strengthen kinship ties what are some of the moral values that strengthen kinship ties number one hospitality next uh, honesty next courtesy next cha chastity next respect next responsibility next cooperation next unity next integrity uh, those are the, the factors that promote kinship according to african society number next explain the concept of messiah in the new testament the concept of messiah he is the son of the most high god he was given the throne of his father david born in house of david he had an everlasting kingdom he was the righteous king sent by god to save mankind he suffered for the sins of mankind he was humble king sent to bring peace we are at the middle of this video and we request you to subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed 
we request you also to write a comment in the comment section down there uh, so that other students when they come here on this channel they will benefit out of your comment we also request you to like this video so that it can be recommended to other people to like it we are coming back short We have a question here how did jesus contradict the jewish expectation concerning the messiah how did he contradict that is to say how did how did jesus uh, did against what jews were expecting from messiah number one they expected a messiah who would be born from a royal family while jesus came from a humble family i.e joseph was a carpenter they expected a political messiah who would overthrow the Roman rulers while Jesus was a spiritual one. Next, they expected a messiah who would rule the world from Jerusalem and receive homage, homage from all nations of the earth. From the earth, but Jesus' rule was universal. Next, uh, they expected a messiah who would establish on earth kingdom but Jesus established a heavenly kingdom. Next, they expected a messiah who would not associate with the poor sinners and the Gentiles. And Jesus freely mixed with the poor sinners and Gentiles. So, this is how Jesus the Jesus who came uh, contradicted the expectation of Jews because they end their expectation from the Messiah who was prophesied in the Bible by the prophet. So he contradicted that completely because he did the opposite or what happened was the opposite of what they were expecting. magnificat eh? what we learn from that God is holy God keep his promise God hates the proud God uplift the humble and the poor in the spirit God shows compassion to those who fear him God remembers his covenant God is powerful and almighty and uh, those are the the lessons learned from the Magnificat. Number three, we are told significance of miracles in the ministry of Jesus. What was the significance or what was the importance of the miracles that Jesus performed eh, in his ministry? What, the imp what was the importance of that? Why did he perform miracles? Number one, miracles were a proof that the kingdom of God had come. Mm? That is point number one. That miracles were a proof that the kingdom of God had come. Number two, miracles proved that Jesus was the source of life. Number three, miracles strengthened the faith of his audience. Next, miracles were a proof that Jesus cared for both spiritual and bodily health, providing for our needs. Next, uh, miracles manifested God's love, concern for humankind. Next, miracles show that Jesus came to liberate, redeem, save people from sin or from death. Next, miracles proved God is powerful, 
miracles show that Jesus and came for all. Next miracles show that uh, the kingdom he represent was for was for those who had faith in God and then miracles form part of Jesus teaching ministry. We are through with this video and uh, we take this time to request you to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed take one or two minutes uh, very few seconds subscribe hit subscribe button like button and like button down there and we shall appreciate also you can write us a comment write us a comment down there if there is something you want us to do or you want to add point of what we have written you can easily do that in the comment section and when the student will come to do revision on this channel they will be happy because we will have provided another point for them and we shall appreciate thank you very much for watching this video until next time